In this video, let's take a look at how we can combine different Excel worksheets into a single worksheet. Many times while working in Microsoft Excel, you have identical data that is located on different worksheets and you want to basically combine that data into a single worksheet. So in this video, we will look how we can combine data from different worksheets into a single worksheet using the Power Query dialog box. In this example, I have data from four different regions, the central region, the east region, the south region, and the west region. The data is identical, but it is located on four different worksheets. To combine this data into a single worksheet, first of all, I need to convert the data on all the four worksheets into four different tables. To do so, I will select all the data, then I will press Ctrl T on keyboard and hit enter. I will convert data on all the four worksheets into Excel tables using the same process. Then I will create a new worksheet. After that I will click on the data tab then new query. Click on new query here. Then I will click on from other sources. Then I will click on blank query. It opens the blank query dialog box. Once the dialog box opens, there is this formula bar at the top of the dialog box. In the dialog box, I will enter a formula equal to Excel dot current workbook open parenthesis close parenthesis. Then I will press enter. This function gets the list of all the tables from the current workbook. Table one, table two, table three, and table four. These are the four tables in my current worksheet. Now I have to combine all the four tables. I will press on the button here. I will click on it. Then I will click on expand here and uncheck use original column name as headers. Then I will click on OK. Now you can see the expanded content here. Then I will click on close and load. And here you can see that the magic has just happened. All the data from all the four worksheets has been combined into a single worksheet. While using the Excel.workbook function, you should be cautious about the problem of recursion. Recursion means when an Excel function refers to itself. In this example, in the four worksheets, I have a total of 56 rows. But when you go to the worksheet you just loaded the data in through the Power Query dialog box, you will see that it has 75 rows. The reason is recursion because when you open the query editor and uh, then click on the sources button here, you will see that in addition to the four tables you already had in your worksheet, the Excel.current workbook has added another table that is the query one table. You can exclude it by clicking on the drop down button here and then clicking on query 1 and unchecking it you will click on ok and it will be excluded then you will click on close and load and this time you only have 56 rows here because it has included data from only the four tables so this is how you can combine data from multiple worksheets into a single worksheet if you know any other method let me know in the comment section I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep supporting, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.